If this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing, press the bell icon and never miss an update. Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to do a ride video of the RX100. So after in installation of the CDI, it's been raining continuously, non-stop. It's not even stopping for like 10-20 seconds. <laughs> so it was that bad. So ultimately what happened is I small saw a very small window today. Um, and I had to go to the ATM so I thought why not combine both the other challenge is the moment I start the bike my daughter just comes running and she also wants to go for a ride so that is something not possible um, especially since there is a very good chance that it might rain when I am half way out so I just combined the ATM trip today with this ride so there is actually um, a compression increase and the kicker is kind of hitting back so um, that is not primarily because the compression has gone up that is because the timing has changed a bit so right now it is uh, timed at 8 degree um, from the top dead center so because of that there is a difference in the performance but the problem with these things is the moment you know something goes different let's let's say you change an item you change the carburetor or let's say you change something rest of the tuning actually goes little haywire so that is what happened here also so i never used to ride it beyond 4000 rpm i always used to keep it below that because this was my daily a to b bike um, and the main aim for this bike was not to improve the performance the main aim was to improve the lighting but you know performance improvement actually came as a bonus um, so what has happened is uh, the carburetor is not able to supply fuel at you know higher rev um, so I have two options either I can object or I can get a 135 carburetor which is an easier route I have couple of 135 carburetors lying around with me so I'll install that and I'll shoot another video right now what is happening is um, in between the quarter throttle I mean in between the 3 4 throttle and full throttle this is kind of bogging you can hear a lot of misfire happening at this uh, particular throttle range and because of which um, it's not kind of rideable um, at that kind of a throttle position below that it is fun you know there is a lot of torque coming in right around 1500 rpm to you know up to around um, six seven thousand rpm but once it dies down there then again there is another peak um, and somewhere around nine to ten thousand rpm the torque again kind of peaks so that is a characteristic of a yamaha rx you know all rx bikes have a uh, you know torque peak happening at the top end also um, so the best thing is this particular package has uh, enhanced the riding experience a lot but unfortunately there is an exhaust leak in my bike due to which I'm not able to enjoy it to the fullest the top end fluttering or the top end bogging can also be due to the exhaust leak because um, you know there might be air entering from the exhaust so now I cannot do any uh, shortcuts like what I did last time this time I have to do a permanent fix on this so what I have to do is I have to take it to a lathe and get this thing fixed for good um, so that is what I'm going to do I have found a lathe which actually fixed my RD350 um, stud 
so i am going to take it to the same lathe but unfortunately i have to redo everything that i did so for the time being i'll really let this run uh, till the time the rd becomes fully functional because right now the challenge is i do not have an extra bike so that is something that this bike has to wait for once the rd becomes running then you know i can take it apart it might take almost around a week because those guys are busy and secondly most of the shops are just opening right now because of corona the demand is not fully there in some shops but some shops they are backlog so the late is like that these guys asked us to come the next day we actually dropped the engine on monday they asked to come on tuesday but unfortunately they could not finish it because the guy who was supposed to fix that his house was in a containment zone and they were not letting him go out so um this is something that i need to fix the performance um video i'll do again but again one more important thing that i want you everybody to understand that you know public roads are not for uh, racing and showing performance of your bike public roads are primarily for the public so it is very risky to ride a bike especially in these b roads because especially due to corona people are little you know careless the way they drive and ride the vehicle so you know even yesterday while i was driving i saw one guy looking at the phone and driving he almost you know came head on on my cruise but luckily i was going at 20 kilometers per hour and i honked and this guy came back to his senses so that happens a lot so if you really want to test the performance of a vehicle that is for the track um on the roads it is better not to you know take it to the peak performance but uh, instead of taking it at high speed you can still check the performance of the bike in the lower gears that would show you how cleanly it is pulling um till about 3/4 of the throttle i have absolutely zero issues it is pulling like a diesel train but post that um there is a slight bogging so that is primarily because of the carburetor so i'll replace the carburetor and again i will shoot another video so then you guys will get a better view of how the performance is um so like i said this is not a performance um, you know demo video this is more of a ride video that happened after you know the rain stopped for like 20 30 minutes as soon as i reached home the rain resumed again so i'll do another video properly um, so stay tuned for that there are some work on this bike which needs to be done right now this bike will go into hibernation for some time um in terms of work this is going to be my daily till the time the rd is fixed once the rd is fixed then we can probably afford to you know keep this down for maybe a week so yeah that was the video i hope you enjoyed if you did please like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment see you in the next video